let's talk about what they're doing at Row. And I'm getting real excited about this. I, I think I'm going to start talking about this more with what they're doing at Row with the three appointment dentures. Not only, I was noticing on their website that they have various options, right? They have the different base options they can offer you. They have the different tooth options they can offer you. So you've got a great range of cost uh, opportunities with their digital dentures. They have something called a reverse uh, setup, and then this floating try, and I think is genius. So their bottom line, their three appointment dentures, if you're not a fan of printed try-ins, you don't want to deal with putting a printed try-in in and adjusting that and, and rescanning that, they're using digital photography in lieu of that. And they're still using bite rims, but they're merging all these files together to do the, the final setup, still doing a three appointment, but instead of a printed try and they're using bite rims. Now, uh, because I'm just learning what BJ is doing and I'm thoroughly pumped about it, but I've asked him to, to be online with us and to jump on and maybe share a little bit more of this with you guys on how this process works with them. So uh, BJ, if you're here, this is a great time for me to stop sharing and let you share and show us a little more. Yeah, my name is BJ Kowalski. I'm the president of Rowe Dental Laboratory here in, uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I wanted to share with you, go from the beginning here, um, share with you a little bit of our, our journey with digital dentures and what we've learned so far. We've been doing this uh, process uh, really started uh, back in, in, in 2018 where we first started doing our, our first sets of digital dentures and really have done um, thousands of dentures uh, this way, both milled, printed with multiple systems and, and, and digital. And we're super excited about the, the carbon dent supply option. We think it's the, uh, one of the best options on the market and, and definitely the, um, the, the best value on the market for digital dentures. And it's our go-to for this process. But we like digital dentures because there's faster completion time. We're getting these done much faster back to your office. Uh, we believe we can do this with less appointments that I'll explain. The cost overall is, is lower than our regular traditional methods. And also, um, you know, we have a digital record of absolutely everything that we do. So if something gets lost, dog eats it, boom, we can just print another one um, very easily. Uh, they're attractive and, and they're also strong. Uh, so, uh, you know, Roe is in, in Cleveland, Ohio. We have a, a ton of great uh, staff members uh, that do a good job each and every day. Everything's made in America with Roe. Um, have a, um, whole bunch of CDTs on staff. We're very big on educating our staff and encouraging people to, to really embrace dentistry and, and make this their career and their lives and have a, a bunch of um, foreign dentists on staff as well and a few more uh, joining us, which is great because, you know, they really understand the full gamut of, of dentistry, which is important to the, the products that we provide for our clients. So uh, why is it better? And, and bottom line, uh, you know, these materials that Dent Supply has come up with are fabulous and Jimmy showed it in the vice and how it's stronger, which is great. But bottom line, I think it's a technology that, that dentures, uh, the, the software basically positions teeth on case in and case out more consistently than a person can do. It looks at the anatomical features of the, of the cast. Uh, it looks at um, you know, the, how much vertical space we have and it positions teeth using algorithms that are really not that dissimilar from what the best denture technicians would do. It just automates the process. So I, I think that this will continue to become the, the main way dentures are made. And five years from now, this will be the main processing message for dentures in the country, because I think it does a better job. And I really, I really feel, feel that in my heart that, um, and case in and case out, you know, can we do a, a, a denture, you know, equally, equally good? Absolutely. Um, our traditional dentures right now, probably look a little bit better, but it's getting into that like last few percent, you know, less than 10% difference between the, the acrylic. Um, there was a question in the post, you, you absolutely can characterize these and do some different things with some acrylic stains um, that you can do with regular dentures. So we got started with digital dentures a long time ago. We have this guided smile product, which many will feel is the, the, the best way to do a guided full arch case on the market called Chrome Guided Smile. And we started doing um, digital dentures with that process. And after doing literally thousands of cases where we're doing bone reduction, extracting teeth, bone reduction, double large cases, having the teeth go together and occlusion be perfect, um, we kind of sat back and said, if we can do this on these large reconstructions, uh, why can't we do this on an immediate case? Why can't we do this on a, on a, on a simple, simple you know, duplicate denture case? And that's how we began with basically immediates, which turned out great, uh, better than we can do conventionally. And um, 
and now we've evolved into really a full upper and lower and, and about 60% of our workflow is done uh, digital dentures at this point. If it is, is on request, if somebody asks for a denture, we still do it the conventional way. Uh, but more and more of our clients are switching over to digital for a couple of reasons. So, you know, the, the dent supply has this workflow that this is how they go through the you know, new impressions, records, try and, and, and full dentures. So we agree that workflow is great. And, and as a lab guy, I am never going to uh, tell a doctor we, we don't want to try in because it's, um, you know, it's always one more opportunity to check, one more opportunity to, to make it, uh, to make sure we're, we're perfect in what we're doing. However, in our experience, after doing all these guided surgery cases and doing regular dentures and having case after case after case come back and say, go ahead, try and perfect, finish the denture. We found that the chances of it being successful were the try in where there is no changes. If the records are provided properly, which I'll explain, that we could go to, to go to finish right away. So we started advocating skipping the try and doing something called a reverse reset. Uh, I wouldn't set expectations too high for your patients. I would still tell them we're going to we're going to try this denture in. Hopefully it'll be good. And, it, you know, and you can go home with it, but we may have to do another try in. But um, if you can save an appointment, um, even though the, the denture cost is less, saving an appointment uh, for your patient is huge um, to your bottom line. Uh, if you can open up in a future appointment. So I would still schedule your patient the same way. But if this try and appointment goes well and we actually give you the finished denture at the try and appointment and it goes well, you just opened up an appointment in your schedule for an emergency or to bump somebody up. And we find that that is the case um, the majority of the time. So what is a reverse reset? We call it a reverse reset. And basically where you normally would have a try and we're providing you a finished denture, a finished digital denture. And if for some reason uh, it doesn't go great, then and you need to have a change in bite, change in tooth position, just, you know, take a Sharpie marker, as Jimmy showed, mark where you need to do it. Treat it just like a, a try and denture. Um, take a new bite, mark with a Sharpie where you need to change it, to equilibrate the bite, send it back to us. We'll rescan the case, provide you a new denture, and just charge a reverse reset fee of $49. So the total fee is still less than regular dentures. Um, we're, just, we're just banking on the fact that a lot of the times we're going to be able to skip that appointment, which is working out really great. So it, number one savings is... is 75 to 80 percent of the time it's going to skip an appointment for you um it also you know less resets you know i think gone are the days if you follow the protocol properly are two or three resets to trying to get a denture right i think we can do, do it better thanks to technology and and of course digital allows a very high quality product at a lower lab cost so this this is what we basically charge for our, our carbon uh, dent supply premium dentures is 349 with a reverse reset. And that is with printed teeth or uh, dent supplies carded teeth. Why would you wanna choose between the two? It really comes down to vertical dimension and space. If you're doing an upper and lower case, uh, uh, using carded teeth is the way to go. They do look a little bit better, uh, definitely look a little bit better. The wear resistance is fantastic. But a lot of times when you're going against an opposing uh, denture or opposing natural teeth, we don't have the vertical dimension to, to we end up grinding those teeth down so much and fitting them in, and it's a lot more of an eloquent solution to, to do printed teeth. So um, we do both, it doesn't matter the cost. Um, we also have options for an economy denture at, at $100 less. We use a different resin other than dense supply carbon. Uh, we like to advocate those for just provisional or, or you know temporary, temporary dentures um, or immediate something that is gonna replace in the future. So what do you have to do differently to skip this whole appointment? And bottom line is take an awesome bite record with marking midline, marking cusp position, marking high smile line, and give us a photo of the bite rim in place. It's, it's that simple. Do the bite records that you're trained to do and take a photo of this place. We don't, you know, a profile photo would be great, but bottom line, we need this photo because what we do with it is we use it to set the teeth. Gone are the days of, are of having an articulator and looking at a, um, a, a articulator and looking at a picture and trying to figure out where you, if you got a picture, where those teeth are supposed to go. With this process, we take the bite rim in place. When we scan the models, we basically calibrate that picture to the patient's face. And when we're, we're actually setting the teeth, we're setting them on the bite rim in the picture. So in this case, uh, as we're doing an upper and lower setup, it, it's really becomes very difficult to make a mistake with midline, with 
with angulation of teeth. If we can see that that cuspid is going out at a wrong angle, um, or that the inner vermilion border, we're, we're you know we're, we're having too much length there, it, it becomes very clear um, what we need to do when we have a picture, and we're using that to set the teeth. So, provide us this photograph. If we start moving this cuspid where it's outside the uh, outside the, the lip line. Um, it becomes very clear to us and our denture technicians that set these cases what we need to do. So this picture, in addition to really focusing on the bite room, spend a few minutes on the bite room. It's not just a bite, it's a, it's a complete record transfer of midline, eye smile line. If you wanna do a face bite or, or, um, or, or stick bite, that's fine as well. Uh, we can actually calibrate those on an articulator into the software, but that really makes a difference. So that's basically what our, our, our shortened protocol is for a three appointment denture. Um, take initial records, create bite rims and spend a, a bunch of time, maybe a couple more minutes, making sure they're precise, send a picture of that bite rim in place. And then we send you back a finished denture. Hopefully it goes great most of the time. If it doesn't, we do a reverse reset and give you a whole nother prosthetic. Because bottom line, you know, we're, you know, we're, 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 we're dental technicians, but we're also business people. The time that it costs us to Print, provide you a, a monocolored printed try-in compared to finishing the denture, um, it, it's, it's not that significant when you look at the opportunity, the upside opportunity that you're able to skip an appointment. So we, we're leveraging, hey, it's costing us more, but if we can skip an appointment, we're gonna create value for our clients and they're gonna love us for digital dentures because their, their offices are running more efficiently because of it. As, as uh, Jimmy said, um, using a reference denture or copy denture is great. This is a great technique for duplicating dentures. I thought I'd throw in one more uh, neat little technique, but if this patient's denture is going well, do, do a wash. We can bring it into our scanner. You can hold it, like Jimmy said, in, into your scanner and provide that image. But there's another way to do this as well, and you can do it from a CT scan. We've been having really good success with this you know, because of our large involvement with guided surgery cases. We, we, we do a lot of this type of work and work with a lot of doctors with CTs in our office. We find that if you take an upper and lower seat uh, scan of the dentures in occlusion and adjust the threshold uh, to create a good surface volume for those cases, we're able to bring that thing, that dentures in to our software, convert it to an SDL format and basically reverse engineer digital upper and lower models that give us the intaglio surface and then align those with the, the bite taken of the prosthetics in place and design a whole new, and basically use this as a study model to design a whole new denture based upon this. So we have the intaglio surfaces from a reduction of the, of the CT scan and creating those models in, in reverse. And then we're able to set the, set the teeth, fabricate the dentures digitally and get it back to you. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a neat technique. Um, you basically put those dentures in. I, I'm not going to spend too much more time on that, but if somebody's questions on that in the future, please, uh, you know, reach out to, to me, uh, bj at rowdentallaboratory.com or any of our staff here, and we're happy to share more about that. So, I'm, you know, we're a big fan of digital dentures. We think this is the future. Uh, you know, we have the technology. We have an awesome staff of, of, of people here. Uh, our entire building is mostly about 70% of our work we do is digital at this point. Um, so we really created a great staff that handles this type of workflow very well. And I'll, I'll hand it back over to Jimmy to, uh, to finish up talking about uh, the great technology that Densply and Carbon have put together that we love. Cutting edge lab, guys, cutting edge. Uh, what they're doing here, uh, pretty darn impressive. Uh, I had not seen the CT scan. I've uh, had a feeling that that would work. Uh, it's great that they've worked out that workflow.